Well, the very sad news is one of our dear student has passed away yesterday she passed away and today was the janaza after Juma Salah uh, our dear student Marjana the daughter of al Haj Zahir Ali and as we know a few years ago her brother Kajuddin also passed away so it's very sad day for us many of our brothers were in the janaza and we have been doing dua for the last few weeks uh, for her and at least three to four khatams have been done by the students throughout this few special yesterday we had a full khatam done before that another two khatam so it's a day that we remember her and do dua for her in the hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam we say in salas. when a person passes away everything ceases everything stops for three things sadaqah jariya First one is Sadaqah Jariyah. And this is something that we all need to have surplus amount. We need to have plenty amount of whilst we are living. And after we leave this world, we need to make sure that we have that arrangement. So this student of ours, Marajana, subhanAllah, I was speaking to the mother. Uh, and she was telling me just before she went into this induced coma, she said to the mother, and listen to this, my brother and my sister. She said, Oh, mother, join JK and Madrasa. So the mother said, Why do you want me to join? I'm very old now. I won't be able to study. No, just join the bandwagon, which is going to lead you to Jannah. This is going to lead you to Jannah. I've gone to the bandwagon and I'm already heading towards Jannah. These are her last words before she went into a coma. And the mother said, look, I won't be able to study full. It's not, even if it's a Tajweed lesson, just join the Tajweed lesson. So at least you are in that bandwagon which will lead you to Jannah. I have gone into it and I am going to be proceeding and advancing towards that. So the mother asked, what surety have you got? So she in that state, she was going through so much difficulty breathing and everything. She pointed towards the ceiling of the hospital ward and she was saying, Allah has promised me that I will end up going into Jannah. These were, subhanAllah, so amazing. And then on the phone, she spoke to me and she said, Muftisa, please do dua. And I want you to become an alima. I want you to become an alima. I said, Inshallah, you'll become an alima. Because your full intention, your sincere intention, the commitment is there. Even if you didn't finish, like she couldn't finish, Inshallah Ta'ala on the day of judgment, she will be standing up as an alima. So she has studied two years in our JK Madrasa. She studied the 40 hadith. In the hadith, it mentions that a person who learns the 40 hadith, they will be standing as faqih, as a jurist, as a scholar on the day of judgment. So these were her words. And amazing, all the students of the class, they mentioned so many, they sent me so many messages, how she was so amazing. She would never ever backbite anyone. She would never give pain to anyone. She will be always uh, helping others. Very generous, always uh, thanking people for what they've done for her. And she will be always kind and generous to the other people. These are the qualities as a student of Deen, everyone needs to have. And she was a role model for all our students. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give her the highest rank in Jannah to those make her great from the uh, garden of paradise and give the parents. Just imagine losing two children at this kind of age. Tajuddin Marhum rahimahullah ta'ala, he passed away when he was only 27 years old and now sister uh, Marjana, she passes away at the age of 22. Leaving uh, these two, I mean, losing these two children. <coughs> the pain and alhamdulillah the father is in front of me sitting down subhanallah uh, to come here uh, with uh, fresh wounds in her with the uh, heart and coming here uh, and I invited them I hope the mothers here as well and the family members are here as well inshallah ta'ala we will be doing dua for them as well so what we need to realize my brother and my sister this life is very short we think to ourselves we've got a very long life we are young like our youngsters, like today on the headline is saying this in the one and a half years of COVID, the, the, the most the uh, hospital admission is of youth, of youngsters, of the one and a half years. So a lot of people think, no, no, I'm young, nothing's going to happen to me. So I've had already so many youngsters who are hospitalized. They've been texting me, I can't breathe, uh, I'm becoming breathless, 
I'm on the ventilator, please do dua. So this is what's happened. We don't know what's around the corner. So what we need to do is take each day as the last day and prepare ourselves. Because when we die, not everything is going to cease, our good deeds. We, Allah has given us the tawfiq and ability to come to death. So we need to value it.